Hey fellow bone dwellers, it's Angry Turtle, and in this video we'll be testing the difference between full health builds and low health builds. How much damage you are sacrificing to go full health and of course we'll not be able to test every single scenario therefore we are testing commando and heavy gunner as those are the most popular and first bloodied fixer will be used you can see all the mods here my commando build all the packs that i have equipped i will not analyze the build because it's, it's not the purpose of this video although you can see it and i'm even missing clown one legendary perk but that's fine it's not needed in here then that's the build we are starting with 1309 ammo that's important because we'll calculate how much we used and we are running the hunter's vial and single run will repeat the same run of course with a full health version of this build and we'll test then on the behemoth as well to have a good sample to have a good sample how it works and as expected, you can see on this footage, Bloodit is destroying everything. Bloodit Fixer, Commando build that's like a highest DPS solo build in the game that exists there for... Yeah, that's, that's the result that we expect in here. And of course, I have full set of unyielding, therefore it's further boosted. I mean, my perception, what benefits my accuracy, my agility, I'm more sneaky, everything like... In case of Commando, Bloodied have double benefits. It's not only the damage itself, but as well ability to use unyielding. It's not the case if we'll be talking about Heavy Gunner. That's why I choose those two main builds to focus on. And we are almost done with clearing in here. We just have a couple more Super Mutants that are waiting on the outside. I just want to show you all the kills that give you a better picture as you know that this run will not be always exactly the same there is some randomization in super mutant levels they sometimes pull 50 sometimes 60 it's not exactly always the same sometimes they can be legendary but uh, you will have a picture then uh, that's what's important and we use 35 ammo 45 ammo and now the second test we have junkies fixer in this case unfortunately not the one star i do not have one start and this is much better it's what's hit chance less action point cost but the damage is not affected by second and third star here therefore the test will be still fair and you see even with this extra bad hit chance as i lost the perception bonus from unyielding i'm sometimes struggling to get those headshots then it can contribute to more ammo used actually because if you miss you still spend ammo and you need to get closer to enemies to hit them then you are risking that you will get detected as full health build a little bit less bonuses to agility a little bit less sneaky unless you go for the stealth suit but then if you go for the stealth suit you are sacrificing even more stats as you cannot use under armor you cannot use legendary armor pieces then there are choices in here there are choices to be made and this video main purpose show you what the difference actually is and help with the decision as i'm getting those questions quite often should i go full health should i go low health uh, how much damage i will lose will i do enough damage if i decided to go full health and in case of commando you can see that even though there's clearly slightly less damage and not as good it's not at the same time it's not as bad i mean we are losing a little bit of a damage using a little bit of more ammo but look at that leveled up at ammo use 54 then that's 50 percent more ammo usage it's not as bad as it used to be before one wasteland and now the behemoth test here i will need to use slow motion otherwise you will not be able to see much as it it will be fast kill look at that and that's a bloody again by the way that's a bloody seven shots seven rounds used and yet it's easy i don't need to put it on the screen you can see how many rounds was there seven rounds used and now the same test will repeat with a full health exactly fresh behemoth level 100 as well and this one single shot is to activate the follow-through perk and we are shooting him 
Let's see how many bullets we'll need. I stopped at seven like last time and actually three more was needed. Three more was needed, then not too bad of a difference. It's just like three more bullets, then... Yeah, I would say in case of Commando not losing much damage going full health. And Heavy Gunner, here we go. I have this beautiful Junkies 50 cal that I'm not even using. Therefore, I will put it into use now. That's my Heavy Gunner build. I'm not changing everything, uh, anything. I'm just running with my Heavy Gunner build. As it's for the example purposes then. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm running on my Heavy Gunner and that's what I'm keeping for the test. The only difference is I'm full health at this moment. I'm starting with full health this test and I'm running this Junkies 50 cal. Of course, in both examples, I have five addictions. Then yes, Junkies is boosted to plus 50% as much as it goes. Junkies cannot go higher. It's capped at 50% and I have five addictions that is giving me maximum boost for this Junkies 50 cal and previously for the Junkies fixer. And I don't have problem with those super mutants. They die fast, even though I'm full health. And we have some legendaries. Legendaries, no good. They a little bit tankier than regular super mutants, but I'm able to kill them before they fully regenerate. Therefore, it's not too bad. Not too much of a difference, but they are slightly tankier. Then it can contribute to a little bit more ammo consumption than otherwise will have. We still have uh, 100 ammo left, then yeah, it will be easy to count. <laughs> I don't need to reload. I don't need to reload and I can clear and try a hunter's will even full health. I love this 50 cal and my power armor build. Okay, 66 round left. Okay, I accidentally fire one more. Then we spend 100 84 rounds and now we're going for blooded We have bonus enemy this time the scorch in front of us. That's fine and Yeah, the only thing that changed is a blooded 50 cal and in this case it's actually Identical role with only difference being that it's blooded and not junkies and You can already see probably yes Junkies is doing way more damage. I think the difference is even bigger than in case of the commander. Like, look at them. They died almost instantly. In case of Junkies, you were able to see that I need to shoot them a little bit before they die. Now it's not the case anymore. They basically die as soon as I start firing at them. Yeah, that, it, is, it is higher difference in case of Heavy Gunner by this sample already I can tell you than in case of a commando but the plus side is you are not losing those unyielding bonuses as you are already running in power armor anyway then no special bonuses lost and we have 129 left that's means we use only 121 rounds that's much less and behemoth test starting with a full health we let him hit once for my tanking one for the team to activate and it's around 50 around 50 bullets as i think i shot a couple more after he died then around 50 bullets to kill him full health now let's see low health bloody approach let him hit me once and here we shoot 26 yeah that's like half <laughs> half of the ammo required like double damage in case of blooded compared to full health that there is a huge difference commando was like 30 to 50 percent difference here is almost double that that's why like almost every heavy gunner is running low health and yeah but i will not go into more discussion what's worth and what's not worth this video only purpose was to show the difference and i think it showcases quite nicely even though I was not able to exhaust every single possibilities, but you let me know what you think about it. <laughs> Is it a good video? Will it help you? Let me know. And as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you guys in the next one.